everyone welcome back to another amazing video we're going to be doing some bulgur and dry gungu peas together with some vegetable balls if you want to continue watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like it and if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so if you're new here thank you so much for watching this video let's get straight into this video guys our peas has been cooking so what we're going to do now is to add some coconut milk We're going to add some seasoning which include our thyme, scotch bonnet pepper and pimento berries. We're going to add also one bullion, scallion, garlic and ginger. So we can allow all of those flavors to come together pretty nice before we add in our bulgur. And do remember to give your bulgur a little wash. We're also going to go in with some green seasoning blend. And you can always check for salt. So we're going to go in with some, even though I had cooked the peas with some salt already. Now that our flavors has come together, what we're going to do now is to add the bulgur. And this is roughly around two cups of bulgur. Our veggie ball will be inspired by a like a veggie ball mancharan. So we're going to be using some cabbage mushroom is optional. The carrot is a must though, right? So we're going to grate it. If you have a food processor, guys, you can use it or if you want to use a grinder to make life a little easier. Grating also the mushroom. And remember mushroom holds flavors very nicely. Now that all our vegetable prepping has come to an end, we're going to combine all of them together. Seems like I do a little bit too much of the mushroom, so you can just use a little, um, like about two mushrooms, right? Gonna use all of the carrots. Some ginger. garlic going in with some salt black pepper and garlic powder Alright, so let's say you're cooking your dinner, right? So you're cooking with peas already. You don't want to add peas again in your side side dish. Then you can just do a veggie balls, right? We're going to add some cornstarch. If you have arrow 
arrowroot powder you can use it we're also going to go in with some flour you can always substitute as well with oat flour right your veggie ball can be in any size you desire right so you want to make sure you bring it together now if is it that you think your butter let's call it the butter if you think it's too wet you can always squeeze the vegetables before you actually start adding in your ingredients right so we want to get them somewhat all shaped the same size and you want to make sure your oil is preheating right and you can play around with this veggie ball you can add onions as well scallion just about anything you like right All right, you can start dropping your balls down to the pot. And as long as your oil is hot enough, you won't um, have to worry about the oil absorbing in the veggie balls, all right? You want them to look nice and golden brown on each side so you see this one is a little bit bright in color you want to get them semi brown right that's so you know the flour on the inside is cooked let's take a peek at our bulgur rice and you can see we don't have to do anything to it it cook already so easy guys then have to fluff it and have to do nothing just put what you need to put in there and leave it right and it will steam up and look like that Right, when it finish cook. We, we finish with this now, so we just have it over here chilling out and cooling down. Okay, you know when we finish cook, we want to rip and eat. Yes. And back over to the veggie balls, you see they're coming on so lovely. Still want them to brown a little bit more. And they kept so good, right? You can see that it's not breaking up, it's not, you know, shelling out in the pot. That's what we that's the look we're going for. All right, so we're going to remove these guys you see Ooh, nice and crusty all right so we're going to drain them off on some paper towel and add in our second set Alright, we're going to start with our slurry first, which consists of cornstarch, and we're going to add some water. Remember, you cannot dissolve cornstarch in hot water or in your pot, right? It's going to get lumpy. So you just make that and put aside. We're going to work with our sauce, which consists of soy sauce, roughly like about three tablespoons. We have in here like about a third of a cup of water. We're going to use some mushroom sauce as well. And some ketchup. You're also going to need sweetness. So if you want to use sugar or agave, totally up to you. I soon add it, man. And remember, all your ingredients should be listed in the description box, right? Let's move over to the pot. Okay, so to our pot, you know, you're going to start with the garlic and ginger first. Just to remove, hear me about remove, just to release those aroma, right? Going in with some scallion. Alright, so we're going to add the sauce mixture all right so now that all of the flavors kind of start come together me tell us so the kitchen smell nice we're going to add some water and we can go in with some white pepper 
All right, guys, we are going to add in our slurry. And this is just to finish off and bring the sauce together, right? And if it's too light in color for you, you can add some more of your soy sauce, right? Okay, and allow that to come together before we add in the vegetable balls. All right, let's take a note how shiny our sauce is. That's what you want to look for when you're making yours. If we did not achieve this shiny look, that means you can't start to cook properly, right? So what we're going to do now is to add in our additional seasoning, just the vibrant of things. And we're going to go in with our onions and sweet peppers. Oh my God, guys, the smell is amazing. We're going to add in our veggie balls now. Still holding up their shape. You don't want to cook these for too long, right? Just want the sauce to cover everything and you know. Oh my God, me just want Take the pot outside and eat. <laughs> and this is it guys, our nice amazing veggie balls with bulgur rice and gungu peas. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Until next time, bye.